everybody, happy Sunday, and welcome to another update for my hashtag 365 days of samples. So I don't have a lot of samples that I finished over the last week, but I have a couple. So we'll start with the one product that I would not purchase the full size of. So that product is from Beauty Protector, and it is the Protect and Treat Treatment Mask. So I remember getting, I think, two jars this size in a birch box back when I still had a birch box subscription and back when birch box was still available in Canada for those of you who do not know birch box is no longer available in Canada um, but anyway I remember using the first jar way back when I first got this months and months ago and it didn't do anything for me and this jar didn't do anything for me I felt like it sat on my hair and it didn't really absorb in I didn't feel like my hair was hydrated or it was moisturized I just felt like this was a product that was sort of sitting on it and then when I rinsed it out no real benefits I didn't really see anything different in the way that my hair looked or felt so this did not work for me moving on to the products that I would purchase the full size of this is a repeat this is the philosophy renewed hope in a jar I really really like this moisturizer so much so that when I was in Sephora earlier today, I actually bought the ornament little deluxe size of it because even though I'm trying to get rid of all my like deluxe size stuff, I don't know if I can really stick with that with skincare where I like so much, so many things. And I saw this there at the cash and I was like, I love this, I need this, this will give me even more use of this product and then once I get through this jar I can really commit to the full size. It's kind of the same thing that I did with the regular Hope in a Jar. Moving on into lip products, the first thing I have here is the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment. This is just the clear version. It's a clear lip balm, but I really like the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatments. I find that they're really moisturizing. I've said this before, but it, I'll say it again. If I could only have one line of lip balms, it would be the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatments because they find that they really hydrate my lips very well. They're not sticky, they're not greasy. They are just the perfect lip balm in my opinion. So I have a bunch of deluxe size samples which I'll be working through starting in 2017 with this project. And then I will definitely be committing to a few full sizes. And I have two of the Urban Decay little lipstick samples. The first one I have is ZZ, which is this very pretty pale purple shade. And the second one I have is called Rapture, which is a darker sort of mauve shade. Kind of, they're both sort of typical colors, but I like them. They're cream formulas. I'm wearing a little bit of Rapture today. It's mixed with um, a ColourPop lippy sticks, but I just used a little bit of this stuff on top of it. And you know, it's it's they're sort of generic colors, but I like them. I I. As soon as I tried them both on, I went, oh, okay, these are colors that I can get behind. I like this, I like Rapture because it's a, it's a little bit cool toned. A lot of these like mauve shades tend to be on the on the really warm side and I find that they're very unflattering on me. And then ZZ is just kind of weird, like this a lighter purple. And when I put it on, I was like, this is pretty cool. I, I liked it so much I snapped it and I don't, often snap everything I try or everything I use but when I really like something like when I'm really digging my makeup when I'm really digging something that I try I have to snap about it I think I have a picture saved I think I might have saved that specific snap and if I do I will insert it here so you guys can see it and I have a lot of fun with it I like I've been trying to use snapchat more and I find it's fun for those sort of instant moments when I really want to just talk about something or just even just show something that I recently used. So anyway, these two lipsticks I would potentially purchase at some point in the very, very, very distant future. Okay, so samples. I'm again not going to choose very many samples. I'm going to choose just a handful of foil samples. I'm not going to choose any more deluxe size samples. And I don't think this project is going to go all the way until the end of the year. I really am feeling like I want to wrap it up pretty soon for this year and then start fresh or start again in 2017 with the with the new project. And thank you guys so, so much for all your wonderful responses on my last video when I asked if you guys would be okay with alternating weeks because I'm also going to have to make an announcement probably following following this video where I'm like I'm putting my lipstick roulette on hiatus because I cannot commit to doing 
those two projects in the same week. Like, I don't always know when my filming time is going to be able to be. I've been making a dedicated effort to make sure that I film in advance for Sunday so I can make sure that this video is up, but I can't guarantee it any other night. And sometimes, depending on what I can film and when, and I might not have a whole lot of time, and just this past week especially, I haven't been feeling very well, I've been very tired, I my lips were a little bit messed up, I had a cold sore, you know, everything that didn't work out, and I was just like, I cannot commit to doing that video every week. I would not be able to do it. There's no way I'd be able to stick with it. And I think doing the rotating weeks is going to is going to help me so so much. And I want to just make sure that what I am giving you guys is the best it can possibly be. So I'll probably address that more in that video. So anyway, I'm just going to choose a handful of samples here, foils, and we'll go from there. One, two, Three, four, five. I have a, another sample of the Renewed Hope in a Jar from Philosophy, so I'll be using this before I crack open the deluxe size. I have from Dr. Dennis Gross the Alpha Beta Ultra Gentle Daily Peel, which I really love and already purchased the, the full size box of. The Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I have a product from Dior, and this is One Essential Eye Serum. And the last thing I have here is from Alterna, and it is the Smoothing Hydra Jelly. So this says on the back that this lightweight surge of hydration conditions the hair, smoothing unwanted frizz and providing light definition with high shine. Use this versatile formula on wet hair before air drying or heat styling or on dry hair for instant perfection. Well, I have quite a big problem with like frizz, so we'll see how this works for me. So that's everything for this update. I know this was a pretty short one, but I hope you guys still enjoyed it anyway. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns down below. I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye.